Hi, I'm Derek. I do store planning and fixture design for design environments. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a 6 foot by 8 foot typical once upon a child play area. These are the supplies that you need to do that. First of all, you'll need one 4 inch in diameter, quarter inch piece of PVC. You'll need 39 inch studs for part of it. You'll also need a set of 27 inch studs. Here are the supplies or the tools that you're going to need. First, you'll need to have a tape measure. You'll want to have two and three quarter inch screws to put the framing of the, of the play area together. You want three and a quarter inch screws to make sure that you can put the PVC tubing to the top of the frame properly. And then you'll definitely want a power drill. Now that we have everything laid out, it's time to actually put the frame or frame it up. On this side, we're going to, this side is going to be the side that's up against the tagging counter. So we're going to use the 39 inch studs to bring this top up a little bit higher than on the other two sides. The reason being is it protects the kids from bumping their heads into the sharp galvanized tops and it also prevents some of the stuff from your tagging counter falling into the play area. So as we get building this, 39 inch studs are going to go here and we recommend that you put them every 16 inches on center. Okay, we just finished it, putting together the tall wall that goes next to the taking counter. The next step is to secure this wall to the existing wall. So what you'll want to do is sink a couple screws through here directly into this wall to make sure that it gives it the stability that it needs. Okay, the next step is to install or to construct the two smaller walls. So what you're going to need for this one is the 27 inch stud. And then again, we recommend that you put these studs every 16 inches on center. Now that we have the other two walls constructed, we need to secure the frame together by adding three anchor points right here, right here, and then we'll also need another three to connect this to the wall. Alright, the next step in putting together the play area is adding the PVC top. What we have here is a four inch diameter, quarter inch thick piece of PVC. What you'll want to do is cut the top of it at a 45 degree angle and then cut it lengthwise right down the middle to create two halves. We're going to put these two halves on the shorter two walls of the play area. Okay, now what we're going to do is put the two beveled edges or the angled edges of the PVC together. They'll fit flush in the corner. And by putting the PVC tubing on top, we've taken away the otherwise 90 degree angle on the top of the play area. And it's, it's just a little bit better for child safety. The next step is anchoring the PVC to the top of the play area. What you're going to use is a three and a quarter inch screw and you're going to put a screw yeah, between every stud along the edge of the play area. Okay, the next step is putting the plywood on the front and on the back side of the play area. Because the PVC tubing sticks out about a half an inch, we recommend that you use half inch plywood. That'll make the PVC and the plywood surface flush and it'll be much easier for the carpet installer to put the finishing carpet. Okay, the final step in putting together the play area is carpeting. And what you want to do is carpet the entire perimeter, starting at the floor line, go up over the top of all the walls, and return back to the floor. The inside of the play area is going to be the vinyl wood flooring. And once you have that all installed, your play area will be complete and ready to go. Please check out the rest of our videos at YouTube slash Design Environments.